So a lot of people say that money can't buy happiness. And you know what I call those people? <laughs> liars. And before some of you boys start crying in the comments, <coughs> I'm not saying this from a place of, oh, look at me, look how rich I am, look how much money I earn. I'm saying it from a place of, I've been the broke. I've had to borrow money off friends and family members to pay for rent. And right now I live a pretty decent life. I'm not the richest. I'm not the wealthiest, not by a long shot. There's a lot of people richer than me, smarter than me. However, I have created a nice little life for myself. And one of the reasons why I like my life is because of the money I earn and the money I can spend. So in this video, I'm actually gonna run over five ways money can buy you happiness. So first off, I wanna talk about that the place that you live. One of the biggest investments that brings the biggest ROI for me personally is investing into the place that I live. I like to live in a nice place, a nice house, a nice apartment. Now again, do I live in some big fuck off mansion? Absolutely not. But you have people like Gary V saying stuff like, oh, move back in with your parents or go and move into a small studio apartment and save the money. But I think that's one of the worst things you can do. And if I look further back in my life, in around 2017, I moved to Australia with some friends and I was so frigging broke I had to live in a hostel. I was so broke, in fact, I had to borrow money off one of my friends to fly from Malaysia to Sydney. And then when I got into Sydney, I had to borrow $200 off my mum so I could pay to stay in this hostel for a week. This wasn't the exact room that I stayed in, but it was something very similar to this. My bed was actually where these lockers are right here. And I was on like the bunk, I was on the bottom bunk. And let me tell you this, you get really fucking close and personal when you share your bedroom with 14 people. If I actually explain the things I saw and I heard during those three months, my YouTube channel would probably get taken down. And I can honestly fucking say it wasn't fun. I didn't enjoy living in the hostel. I am much happier living in my two bed apartment here in Dubai. And the only reason I can live here and not live in a fucking hostel is because I've got money. Now, the second way that money can buy you happiness is having the disposable income to delegate certain tasks. So for me, for example, I fucking hate cleaning. I can't stand having to like scrub and clean stuff. So what I do here in Dubai, just every two weeks, I get a cleaner to come and clean my apartment. And that's the beautiful thing about Dubai is that convenience is everywhere. So there's an app or a website called Just Life. And you can see on the screen here, you can literally order all types of different services. I've ordered home cleaning. Like I said, I do that every couple of weeks. We've ordered handymen to come around and like put up our furniture. I've also done some blood tests at home and just ordered it from the app. And it's not like super expensive. I think the cleaner, I pay them about 20 pound an hour. But if I'm broke and I have no money whatsoever, I don't have the extra income to afford luxuries like this. And the reason why it can bring me happiness is because I can spend that time that I would be say cleaning the apartment and I can spend it doing stuff that I like. I can spend that time working. I can go to the gym and work out. I can watch something on Netflix. All of this stuff brings me more happiness than cleaning would, but I still get the benefit of having a clean apartment. But again, only possible because I'm able to pay for the service. Another reason why money can bring you happiness is because you can pay for others to do fun things. So a couple of years ago, what I started to do, my little brother here, which you can see on the screen, and this is me sporting a nice little tash. God, I, I miss that tash. But a couple of years ago, I decided that every year for my brother's birthday, I'm gonna fly him out from the UK to come and visit me wherever I am in the world. And we're gonna go and watch a football game together. So this was in 2022 when I first started this. This is me and my bro in Croatia. We went and watched the Hajduk split and Dynamo Zagreb derby, which was friggin' awesome. And then earlier this year, when I was living in Marbella, I flew him out again to Spain. We went to Malaga for the day and we watched a Malaga football game. But again, 
I'm not saying you have to be stinking fucking rich to be able to do this. When my brother comes to visit, I pay for his flight. He comes and stays in our spare room. And yes, I cover all of his expenses for the weekend. Realistically, it probably costs me around a thousand pounds every time he comes out to visit. But from a happiness point of view, that thousand pounds is probably the best thousand pounds that I spend all year because we both have a great friggin' time and we get to bond over something that we both love, which is football. Now, the fourth way that money can buy happiness is through travel. So if you come to my Instagram, you'll see that I'm not some travel influencer or, or anything like that. No, I actually run a proper business. But if you come, you can see here all the different places that I've been able to travel over the last few years whilst running my business and earning a decent income. This is me in Sevilla. We went to visit there when I was living in Marbella in the summer. This was in Cape Town where we spent 12 months living in Cape Town. This is when I went to visit Turin in Italy. This is me and my brother again in Croatia. This is when I lived in Mexico a couple of years ago. This is me when I lived in Barcelona. This was when I lived in Medellin. This was when I was last living in Dubai a couple of years ago during COVID. And this was me back in Medellin again. Over the last few years, I've been able to travel the world and I have more money now than when I started. Most people travel the world and they come back broke. Obviously, I run an online business, so therefore I can run my business wherever I am in the world. But the point is, is that for me, one of my biggest values is travel and adventure. And doing that stuff brings me a lot of happiness. I would go mental if I was working a nine to five job and I could only get one week off a year and I could only take one vacation. But again, the only way I'm able to do this is because I am financially independent and I can travel whenever I want to. And then the final reason that money can buy you happiness is because money can massively reduce the stress in your life. So again, when I was living in Australia a few years ago, I was in a really broke point in my life. I literally had zero money. And I remember I had to go and do my weekly groceries at a store called Coles. And I will take this memory to my deathbed. I remember going into Coles and when I was getting like the vegetables that I wanted to buy, I remember I was picking up the broccoli and I had to weigh the broccoli extremely specifically because I only had a limited amount of money in my account. I remember going in the calls and having 10 to $20 left in my account. So I had to search through the pieces of broccoli and had to find the smallest piece of broccoli that I could get. I had to weigh it to make sure that it didn't go over my budget. And at that time, I was stressed. I was extremely unhappy because I couldn't even afford to buy food. So even a really simple thing of right now where I can go into the supermarket and I'll never check the price of something before buying it. Or if I go to a restaurant and I don't have to check the price of the food before ordering, all of those little things are fairly simple and you don't have to have that much money to enjoy that sort of life. But now I have no stress when it comes to buying stuff that I wanna buy. And I'm not talking about Lamborghinis and luxury cars. I'm just talking about the basic necessities of life. It is very freeing going from a place of where you had to weigh your fucking broccoli to being able to just go throughout life and not having to stress about money every single day. It brings me a massive amount of happiness. So I think a lot of people try and throw hate on the people who have money and start saying that, you know, money is the root of all evil, blah, blah, blah. But in reality, it's probably because they just resent the fact that they don't have as much money as the person they're hating on. And I'm not saying you have to get rich. I'm not saying you have to go and try and be a billionaire. Fuck no, I don't wanna become a billionaire. But what I'm saying is if you are able to create a decent income for yourself, because the difference in your quality of life and the difference in your happiness of when you're broke versus when you are financially comfortable is huge. So even though I look back on the days where I was broke in Australia and I can kind of like laugh about them right now, there is no way I would switch back to that life. I prefer my life a lot more right now compared to back then. So if you don't like money, then you know what? Give it to fucking me because I do like money. It's all about the money. And it makes my life better. So thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one.